the whole cadaver is perfectly preserved. We literally had to cut through the human body in the middle, through the skull, also the face and other body parts. Hello YouTube friends, welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Lena, I'm a first year medical student in the United States. And in this video, I'll be talking about what medical school has really been like for me in the past two months. I will be sharing about my experiences dissecting real human cadavers in anatomy lab, how I study in medical school, what activities I'm engaged in during school, or outside of school. If you're interested in the life of a medical student, please continue watching and also subscribe to my channel for more contents as such. It has officially been two months since I started medical school and last week was the week I finished my first final exam for medical school. I did officially pass all subjects, which was a pretty big achievement. Yes, at our school, all of the courses are pass and fail. There is no grade assigned to any of the courses. There will be a score associated with your finals, but on the transcript, it's only going to be pass or fail, and you need a 70% to pass the subject. So I really like this kind of grading system because it really it fosters collaboration instead of competition among the students. So if you have been watching my other videos, you probably know that I really struggled at the beginning of medical school especially the first few weeks. I was really struggling with the workload, haven't figured out how to study yet, really stressed out during the first two weeks of medical school. But after these two months, I would say that I gradually adapted and figured out good strategies to study and also wanted to share it with you all. And of course, I gradually started to find more balance, more time for myself, more time to do things other than studying during medical school. So I wanna share all of this with you all in this video. Last block, since we were learning about human Human anatomy. The majority of the week was spent in a lab dissecting real human cadavers and learning about the body parts, the muscles, blood vessels, and nerves two to three times per week in each morning, three hours. In the afternoon, there was also open lab from 1 p.m. to 5 p.m., which was optional for students to review the dissections. Yes, we learned the whole entire human body anatomy in two months. In two months, we did all of the dissections and on top of that, there were other subjects. So I would say it's definitely very fast paced to memorize all of those things in a very short duration of time. Now that the anatomy course is finished, I think I would really miss this experience. Although during that time, I was really stressed out about like how to memorize all of this information. The actual dissections were really difficult, but more difficult was the emotions associated with the dissections. The whole cadaver is perfectly preserved for us to perform the dissections. Like we literally had to cut through the human body in the middle of the body and also for the human head. We also had to cut through the skull and also the face and other body parts. So that was very emotionally charging. One of the labs, our lab group actually had to bisect the head. I know it sounds terrible and the whole experience was kind of terrible. After that night, I had a really, really bad nightmare and I think it was associated with the dissection. And thankfully, our professors are really understanding about all of the emotions that we're going through. And our school also has this service of gratitude ceremony for all of the students to attend and also the body donor's family to attend to really show our appreciation of all of the people who donated their bodies. They served as our silent teachers, silent mentors to help us learn, to make us become better future physicians. And every time dissecting, it almost feels like a sacred moment. Continue to use the knowledge that you learn from them to improve humanity in the future. How is the medical school curriculum like and how do I study? We finished our first block of human architecture, including the anatomy course I was just talking about. It also included histology, which was the body tissues that you need a microscope to see, as well as embryology, which is a human body in the first few weeks of its development and how it developed into a human body. So those three courses, as well as doctoring in the first block. Now we're done with the first block, we're starting our second block of medical school, and that is called molecular and cellular biology. We learn a tons of things in this block. It's only six weeks, so we pretty much learn the basics of pharmacology, like basic 
knowledge about drugs, we learn about biochemistry, genetics, nutrition, human physiology. So during this block, yes, we have pre-recorded lectures, but the other times we are doing TBL or PBL, team-based learning and problem-based learning. Their format, you're given a case within a group. Your group has to discuss the questions related to this case. Most of these questions are associated with the lecture material that we have to go through by ourselves. It's a way of applying what we learn in the lectures to real life case studies or different scenarios with other people. I do use Notion to take notes for all of the lectures and store my notes for the TBL, PBL sessions into Notion. So if you're curious about learning the exact method, please check out an upcoming video that I will be uploading and hopefully you could see See this link already above here. For our team-based learning session, we learn about sickle cells disease, a patient with um, sickle cells disease, and the care that they receive causes underlying sickle cells and going into the mechanisms of sickle cells disease. Also, we talk about the social cultural factors. What are their barriers for them to access care? It's not only about the biology, it's also about the social factors surrounding this disease that we talk about in these discussions. I personally really like team-based learning sessions so far. So far, we've only had like three sessions. Hopefully, this feeling will continue throughout the school year. So we're also having our first OSCE exam next week. OSCE is basically a doctoring skill. We go into a room where there is a mock patient. They would act like a real patient and we are there to like introduce ourselves as a student doctor, take their whole history as well as perform physical exams according to their chief complaints. That's to test our not only skills of interacting with patients but also our physical exam skills. So that's also coming up next week. The most exciting part is we're going to start our longitudinal clerkship during this block. So that means we are going to be paired up with a physician and going to shadow the physician. And that happens like almost every other week. And what are some of the extracurricular activities that I'm engaged in in medical school? As a pre-med, I feel like I always wanted to do a lot. That includes like research, volunteering, taking up leadership positions at different organizations. However, since medical school really started, I feel like extracurricular activities has been pretty laid back. I don't know if it's because how I'm aging or if it's because I'm spending most of my time studying that I haven't really thought about that. So right now, what I have been doing is I've been shadowing student clinics and deciding on which student clinic I want to participate in and also take up leadership positions in. I'm also in the process of finding a research mentor and deciding on which kind of research or lab that I will be interested in. So meanwhile, I'm joining like different events held by different student interest groups. It could be some like specialty like radiology or surgery student interest groups. Two months into medical school, still in the process of figuring out what I'm interested in. But I'm definitely finding more time for myself to do things that I really enjoy. I really want to plan medical school around my life instead of planning my whole life around medical school, which I feel like I've been doing for the first month or first few weeks of medical school. And now I really want to just focus on putting medical school as part of my life. And there's so many different things I value that I want to spend more time in, including developing this YouTube channel, um, spending time with friends and family, going on hikes. And all of this should weigh as equally important as medical school. All in all, medical school is definitely very difficult in terms of the content and learning all of these different skills sets, perform physical exams, interact with patients. One day I was just walking between the buildings of our medical school holding this coffee that was freshly brewed, a little tired from the five hours sleep, thinking about how there is just so much more content that I need to learn and really can't help but feel a little bit overwhelmed and stressed. But then I realized where I was one year ago trying to get those secondary applications done for medical school and anticipating interviews to come in and thinking about where I could potentially or will I even get into medical school and now 
I'm here. Like I am in a medical school. I am studying the things that I love. I have a supportive community who is going through this whole process with me and I have people who support me along this way. This is exactly the place I want to be in life and I'm truly living my dreams. I really reminded myself to just savor it savor each moment of my journey to anyone no matter where you are right now in this journey savor every moment of this process of you fighting for your dreams savor that moment of achievement savor each moment of you putting in effort you know the place that you are was once your dreams so savor it Thank you so much for watching this video and sharing all of my experiences of medical school with me in the first two months. I'll be continuing to upload videos as such, talking about my medical school experiences, vlogs about how a medical school is actually like, and a lot of study tips, resources for you. There's also resources about applying to medical school, my whole medical school application process recorded on my channel. So just check them out and subscribe to my channel. I'll definitely see you next time.